This is Garo from Things You Should Watch, and today I want to talk about Adam Goldman's web series, The Outs. If the term web series is making you question whether this is worth your time, know that this is the series that convinced me that a web series made by a bunch of friends in New York can look just as good as shows produced by large cable networks while having the artistic freedom to present stories and characters you'd never get on television. So with that, let's look at why you should watch The Outs. The Outs follows Jack and Mitchell, a year after they broke off their long-term relationship. The series begins with their relationship still clutching on to that post-breakup toxicity. Look, Jack, I know everything got kind of fucked, and I said a lot of incredibly mean things to try to hurt you, and I just want to make sure that you know that I meant all of them. You're poison. And explores how two people learn to grow on their own. Mitch, having trouble with his dating life. I'll text you sometime, okay? Nah. And spending time with his best friend, Una. Oh, tell me I'm not your best friend. I don't even know when your birthday is. Jack, on the other hand. Nope, I'm just going through a slutty phase. Beyond that, it's really a show about navigating relationships and life as a millennial white gay man in Brooklyn. The Outs follows a decade-long tradition towards making more television that appeals to urban millennials on the basis of relatability. From girls to broad city to master of none, we're seeing a shift from comedies that revolve around family structures to shows that highlight the situation of 20-somethings in urban centers. The humor feels more real and organic because it reflects a new wave of writers whose experience we recognize. The humor of the outs looks like the familiar scene of friends ribbing each other in a way that's endearing. I think you're required by law to be a little bit more supportive of me, okay? Is that part of Obamacare? Also, the show's worth it just to see Philip Teratula as Ty. Girl, not today. Don't call me girl, Mitchell. Ouch. It's a term of endearment. I've told you that before. Well, I do not find it endearing. Now get back to work, faggot. What? The writing is sharp, and though this is a show that rarely makes me laugh out loud, it keeps me grinning throughout. This is where the outs really gets me. When I was told this is a show about gay men in New York, as a straight man I assumed I'd be watching as an outsider. Which is fine, I think it's crucial to hear voices that don't sound like our own. What I wasn't expecting was to find a show so incredibly relatable. My first relationship lasted for four and a half years, and learning what my relationship was with my ex post-breakup was rocky and difficult. It required a great deal of growth from everyone involved, and it took time to reach stasis. I have yet to watch anything that focuses on that story the story of exes that still care about each other, but don't want a romantic relationship. The Outs captures this perfectly. One of the keys to good writing is to see characters change in believable ways. Watching characters or even real people grow is the surest way to get attached, and you will get attached to the people on this show. This show doesn't shy away from tender moments. More than the sexual side of gay culture, you're given the most adorable romantic side of relationships. The music selection is incredibly on point, and there's a lot of care taken into the cinematography. The emotional tone of the show tends to be introspective and beautiful. They pull off capturing the subtle intimacy between two people in the middle of the night, as well as the melancholy of loneliness. If you consider yourself a romantic, I can't recommend the outs highly enough. This is for you in confidence. The entire series is available online for free at theouts.com. The whole thing is uploaded on Vimeo and was recently picked up for a second season by Vimeo. It's only seven episodes with a complete end to end runtime of about three and a half hours. So if you're looking for a quick, relatable, funny web series with a lot of heart, you can't go wrong with the outs.